We're just in time for one of the most exciting moments in all of motorsports. Drivers, throw your switches. Back in 1990, a gentleman named Ernie Holden approached APS and said, hey, electric vehicles are starting to get interesting, and uh, I'm going to have an, a solar and electric vehicle race out at Phoenix International Raceways. And he asked if we would be a sponsor, and we thought, well, that's interesting. We're very interested in electric vehicles. It means a lot to APS, so we agreed to give him a small sponsorship. And he went ahead and had that race back in 1990, and it was interesting. It brought people from all over the United States there. After that race, we thought, you know what, this could be much better. And we, we talked to Ernie and said, why don't we become the title sponsor next year? So then it became the APS Electrics for the next four years. And that's how that started. The green flag is out for an event that was designed just for the high schools in the Phoenix area. The high schools would build electric vehicles. The motors were provided by General Electric. We provided a little bit of cash to them, but they did their own fundraising. Eventually over 30 high schools in the state of Arizona uh, build electric vehicles for this race. Uh, then there's a university division and schools such as Notre Dame, ASU, NAU, Bowling Green, uh, several other schools like that were in this division and these race cars, they were built to look like Indianapolis style cars. Now the unique feature about that race is that they would go around the track in the race and then they'd pull in the pits. Instead of fueling with gas, they would do a quick battery change out. Now watch this, it's gonna be really interesting. They're gonna change the batteries and in just about less than uh, 20 or so seconds, these guys are gonna have Billy Rowe back out. Billy Rowe was an uh, Indianapolis 500 race car driver and he drove in other races as well. But he was uh, pegged to drive this specific Indy style car that was converted to electricity. And uh, he went around the Phoenix International Racetrack averaging over 100 miles per hour. He was the first person to get over 100 miles per hour on a closed track. Really, this was the first electric vehicle races since the 19, early 1900s, so anything was a record back then. <laughs> Everybody usually goes to a race and they want to hear noise and they wear earplugs and the excitement and they smell the fuel. And they came out here and it's like, whoosh, you know, there's no noise. It's just very different. And obviously what we are trying to do is we are trying to improve the technology for electric vehicles. And lead acid batteries have been around for over 100 years and they just hadn't advanced. And we thought if you just keep advancing some of that technology, and they did. They brought out different types of batteries to these races. I think the public finally understood that this is more about technology than the the smells and the noise.